Is this- Wait, wait, wait. Is this RC about to get the scatter? Holy- The Queen's still got her ability! <laughs> the Queen's still got her ability! Are you actually kidding me, Klaus? And Avatar is in here for Badzinger. This is Badzinger versus Queen Walkers in week one of the NACC. Both of these teams will have lofty um, expectations, particularly Queen Walkers, as we know a lot about. Um, literally, if you search up, well, if you put Klaus in your uh, YouTube title, even if he doesn't appear in it, you get like 70,000 views, apparently. Um, but Badzinger as well, I think they've got a real chance to prove themselves in this tournament. Uh, so don't be surprised if they come out here and they start proving people wrong, because they are a legit team. Uh, we don't see enough of them in tournaments, honestly. So they've got a real chance here to prove any somehow doubters that they could possibly have wrong here. Coming in with the Queen Charge Hybrid. I kind of like this Queen Charge, because unless the unless the unless this gets unlucky, I don't think the healers should go through the uh, Town Hall Poison here. Um, they're quite far back, and the Queen's got high hit point buildings to the left and right. Let's see what happens, though. Town Hall goes down. Queen is avoiding it. If she goes for the ground bow here, this would be perfect, and a really nice start to the attack. Queen is tanking the scatter, so we can just hybrid straight into it. Why not? Puts the first heal down to negate this bomb tower, essentially. Could have put it a bit deeper, but that's fine. Only got one more wall breaker. Interesting to see where that could come from. And the Town Hall Poison effect is done. Oh, is that Wall Breaker going to work? Oh, that's a sick Wall Break. Good Warden ability as well. King somehow ended up inside the base in true King style. If he can get, like, the Hogs from this uh, Siege Barracks to go straight for the Eagle, this looks wrecked. In fact, it looks wrecked anyway. This is just clinical. He's just used a Rage for his RC to get through that multi. Hogs go and get the Eagle. Wow, this is crushed. That is absolutely crushed, and that is a strong start to the war. Statement triple here from uh, Avatar, using the two freezers. I mean, he doesn't need them. I'm going to count that top one as swag, considering there was no buildings nearby. 50 seconds left. What an unbelievably quick hybrid. Hybrid's still... If you can queen charge the town hall or yeti bomb it, hybrid's still as strong as it's always been. It's only when you go through the town hall with the actual hybrid that it gets a bit iffy. But like hybrids like this is still unbelievably strong and Avatar showing that here. Nice start to the war. And Akira is in here, stepping in for Stadra today. Coming in with another Queen Charge hybrid. Guys, am I going into the attacks especially slow today? Or are they literally going live and immediately hitting, um, putting down a troop? It's not it. They're not, no love for the streamer there. You, you gotta go live and then wait. Ooh. I don't think he wanted the queen to go that way. I think he wanted the queen to go left, so she'd go around the corner and in for the gold storage and town hall. Let's see where this queen goes here. This is fascinating. I, either way she gets value, one way she gets the scatter, the other she gets the town hall. But it's a little... He's going to have to freeze this town hall for his healers. Thankfully he's got three of them. Let's see what happens. This is a whiz. That was a really good whiz. That must have been down there for quite a while. What activated that town hall? Is that a sneaky gob? That ran over and activated the town hall? What activated it? Either way. Oh, war. What? This sweeper. What the hell? Just saving the day, pushing the healers out of range. That's not fair play. Gets a wall break into the core. He's got a second wall break as well. Is he going to try and wall break again? Don't you dare. He gets the wall break to go. Oh, my. This is looking strong. King goes around. He's not going to get a whole lot more with his King already, ability already popped, but he's setting a nice funnel for this hybrid. Needs to heal almost immediately here. This scatter and bomb... Uh, yeah, scatter bomb tower in, like, a similar area. Good heal. Really good heal. I mean, this looks... This looks super strong. Nothing makes it to that bomb tower, though. So this bomb tower is going to do a lot of damage to all these hogs that have just recently... Oh, no. And there they go. Oh, look at that. I mean, he had to heal early, but that's a little unfortunate. And it just gives life to the... No, it doesn't. He still has the Royal Champion ability. Nicely done from Akira here. And we're seeing where Hybrid can still be used in this meta. 
Um, because it's just still really hard to defend. You better have your spring trap set up to stop it. One thing I will say is we will see more springs put on the back end of the base as opposed to in front of the town hall because you just, you don't, the town hall poison is enough of a deterrent for hybrid into it. Whereas elsewhere still as strong as we're seeing here from Akira. And Wasted is in here for Badzinger. Coming in with a... I don't know. He's got three Invis and two Skellies. Normally that suggests he's going after the clan castle here, but he started with the Yeti Bomb. By the way, great value off this Yeti Bomb. That's insane. Should get that ground bow as well. Nice. Look at that. Guts the entire compartment. And this is an unbelievably long compartment. I mean, he's got three invis. I thought originally that was to go after the clan castle. But I think quite the opposite here. I think he's trying to suey like the entire base. He's just going to try and get this queen to go for the town hall. And then maybe RC the core multis. Let's see. Queen somehow... It looked like she was going around. Steps back in. Good on her. King still hasn't popped ability, and he hasn't even used an invis yet. Oh no, this is this could be really filthy. I expect the RC down any second now, right? To go get that entire core. Right? Unfortunately, this is where he starts running into the bait of the base. Maybe he's waiting to see if he needs the RC. I mean, the, the Queen's getting this Town Hall. What is this suey? This is insane. Come on. If, yes. Champ for the core. Oh, this got to be wrecked now. He's still got three invis left. It's only time at this point. It's only time. This is a 50% suey. This is a 50% suey. Now, there was a Yeti bomb in all of that as well. But a 50% suey. And the tornado's gone. Invis the RC again. Oh, that headhunter was so close to being killed. Invis the RC again. <laughs> This, he has to start the actual attack at some point. But there's nothing left. There's a royal champion and a scatter. Of which the scatter is currently, t well not anymore, but was tanked by a hound. Pop the warden, you gotta pop the warden because the headhunter's destroying you. Oh, warden step up. I mean, he's got to get the head... Oh, it doesn't even need... you got to pop the warden now for time. Time. Don't you dare time fail. This attack was so sexy. Don't you dare time fail. He's used all his balloons. No, why wouldn't you save one balloon? I thought he would save one balloon for cleanup. If he saved a loon, he might get this. Freeze something. you got to freeze the pups. Four. I think it's 99. Oh, 98%. I don't know why he My only problem with that attack is he didn't get down the Royal Champion until so late and then waited for her. He didn't have to wait for her. Could have started the Lalo and just done the Invis during. And time cost him what was a really sexy attack. Nice try there from Wasted. Gaku is in here. Let's see what he... Ooh, Queen Charge Dragons. Ooh. Well, the air defenses are on four corners of the map here, so there's no, like, obvious way he's going to go about this. Got a heal for them. No jump. And only three wall breakers. I'm actually clueless. If I had to guess, though, imagine if he could get this wall break. Imagine if he gets that wall break. So you got two more. You could put one here and one on the Builder Hut. Imagine if he gets this wall break to go. Oh, Gaku. Oh, Gaku. Holy charge. This is why you got to be careful with the Builder Huts in like these dead zones near the Town Hall. Because if you can wall break them, it completely defeats the purpose of it. And you can see now what he's going to do. You can absolutely see here. Because there's not a lot to funnel on the bottom side. I reckon he's going to send the king in to try and get this queen. Yep. 
Queen. If he gets the Eagle, that's nice. He'll get the Air Defense as well. Queen's gonna get the Town Hall. And she's gonna get, like, that multi in the core as well. Oh, this looks so good. And the reason he's coming with drags here over, like, a Lalo... Um, well, he wouldn't come in with the hybrid because it's too wide. Um, and air makes sense with all these ground bows. But with the multi in the core there, it just would have been maybe a little too funky. Plus this sweeper. But drags are much better at dealing with all of that. He's still got so many spells. He needs to heal soon, though. These drags are getting low. Expect the heal surely going into this scatter here. Yep. Great heal. Gonna get these... Dr Ooh, heal and the warden. I can't... Normally, I don't recommend that, particularly with hybrid. But it kind of made sense here, because all the drags were so low. Means that they're now all full health. Even if they were hit during the heal spell, they will be full health. This is so wrecked. <laughs> he could have swagged this royal champion. Oh, Gaku. Don't do us like that. That was sexy. That was genuinely awesome. I thought the last attack was up there with being sexy, even with the time fail, but I think this trumps that. This is, he has... He has seven drags up. He only brought seven drags to the attack, plus one in the stone slam by the look of it. He lost one dragon in that. Gaku, you never, ever failed to impress us. And ND is in here, coming in on Akira's base with a Queen Charge Lalo attack. Yeti Bomb in the single? Interesting. This base has two singles, but gonna be coming at it with a Queen Charge attack. Oh, this single needs to go down. There it goes. Nice. Queen on the right side. I assume he's... It looks like he's gonna try and funnel the King into the Town Hall. This is always fun. So he's going to try and Queen Charge the entire core of the base and then um, King in for the Town Hall. But the problem is, like, this, oh, it's, there's a lot of damage by that Town Hall and it looks mega baited. It looks mega baited. Let's see what happens. Got the level 9 Yak. Got that, uh, got that uh, Hero Potion here. Clearly, uh, war up against Queen Walkers, you want to bring your absolute best, particularly in a week one of a tournament. Queen's doing her thing. Surely he starts the king soon. There he goes. Doesn't activate the eagle, that's nice. King's gonna go in for the air defense, out and then back in. Classic. I mean, he didn't have an, he didn't bring enough wall breakers. He, did, he needed to wait for that sweeper to go down, unfortunately, and now he doesn't have a way to get into this core inferno. Now, to be honest, 90% chance here that the Queen beats the right wall. Oh no, the Queen went for the Hound before the enemy Queen. That's not good. RC to reinforce the King. Smart, because that King does not look like he was getting the Town Hall. But with the Royal Champion there, he should. With the Royal Champion as well, as long as she gets out of this poison. Oh, she's not going to get out of the poison. She's stuck. She's stuck. She's not going to get that Scatter Shot. He absolutely wanted that Scatter down. But unfortunately, the Royal Champion, not as clever as she was hoping to be. And Builder's just going to heal that scatter shot up to probably full health by the time we make it over there. Rage is the Queen, because she's just got to get through this wall. Uh, this multi has to go down for the sake of this attack. But now going to get stuck on the King. Wow, there's just so much tanking in the core here. Oh, the Royal Champion's completely avoided as well. Has to pop the Warden. Smart. Come on, Queen. Get the multi. Get the RC. Do something. We need you here. It's still not looking bad, by the way. It's just this back end scatter that he's got to start freezing any second now. I think he's got enough. Oh no, don't hit the warden. Queen tank the scatter. Queen does not tank the scatter. Time. Pops the queen to... Oh, the scatter gets the final shot off. 14 seconds. No, don't you dare time fail again. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Loons, make it. I think he's got it, but I don't know. They split. Oh, gets it with one second left. Nicely done from ND. Honestly, it was a pretty good attack there. And Bad Zinger stay in the war here. And Stars is in here. Coming in with a... What? Stars? This isn't a Lalo. Chat, have you seen Stars come in with not just a non-Lalo attack, but a Super Witch attack? Does he come in with this often? Oh, he just keeps the uh, 
the owl alive there with the zap quake just in time gets rid of an entire compartment it's pretty good value especially because this water walk now only has to be like 18 seconds My disappointment is immeasurable and my days are ruined. I assume that's because uh, Stars is not coming in with the Lalo. And I have to agree with you there. I have to agree with you. Let's see. Super Witches should funnel in nicely here. If this king could get the Town Hall, that would be huge. Someone had to replace Stadro. True. True Pavu on the money. No baits yet for the king. King still going strong on the left flank. He invises. And then King with ability. Tornado goes off. Messes with the King a little bit. Is the King going to get the... Sorry. The King should get the Town Hall there. Good. The P.E.K.K.A. beat through a wall and was going to help out anyway. We're going to find out if... Uh, we're going to find out how important this Stadger is to Queen Walkers today. No jump to the back end on this attack. So he's just going to have to beat through. Eagle is staying up. RC's on the other side. The Eagle's going to be one of the last defenses to go down here. Wait, how did that Super Witch get through the wall? Oh, this Super Witch. Has it just won the battle? That Queen now goes for the Eagle. Otherwise, that Queen's on the other side of the base here. And I think he gets this. And I, I don't know if he was going to get it if that Super Witch didn't beat through the wall. Pop RC after this Archer Tower goes down. And yeah, that's a triple. Nicely done from Stars here. Um, he didn't sui 60% of the base with his heroes and then Lalo and Swag 6 spells, but it was pretty close. I'll take this. Um, and yeah, Queen Walkers stay perfect on the war. They are looking really good today. They are looking really good. Not a lot that can stop them. Let's see if Badzinger can keep pumping out the triples. And LP is in here. It's what you guys were saying. Oh, it's the how it's the home base. The home base is back. You guys remember this? The the good old home base. <laughs> oh, those hogs just got wrecked. I mean he pulled out the uh he pulled out the headhunters. Not the hound, but uh the headhunters is the important part. Queen! Ah, uh, Stop taking forever. What a that's just a spell you wish you wouldn't have to use. Honestly, though, if you don't want to use that spell, bring a Valk. It's 8 space. Saves you a lot there. Anyways, coming in with the Queen Charge. I think he's trying to, like, recreate, like, JD9's hit. Coming from the opposite side of the base, he gets the Eagle earlier on this side. That's actually kind of nice. More likely to be baited, though. Let's see what happens. King gets the RC on the top side. Wow, that... The RC looked really small for a second there. Second wall break should be coming in any second now. Wait. Does he not have a second wall break? Guys, did he miss a wall break? Or is he deliberately missing the town hall here and like gonna bomb it? Interesting. Anyways, yeah, no, this attack is less and less looking like JD9's. The only thing similar is the fact they both queen charged and Lalo'd. And yeah, he's going to bomb the Town Hall here. Interesting. I kind of like this. Because the Queen's going to engage like less damage at a time going around the edge of the base than in the core. And the pathing's just more predictable. And saying that, this Grand Warden's going to be a pain. Still got his Royal Champion that he has not used yet. 1 minute 20. Got to start something soon. Got a Skelly. Oh, Skelly for the RC. Nice. Blimps the Town Hall. Rages is queen. As long as these healers don't switch to whatever's in that. And as long as the town hall doesn't start targeting healers. Freezes the town hall. Yep, Yeti Bomb. Nice. I mean, this is just crushed. This is just absolutely whacked. Nice plan here from Badzing. Man, their plans today have been amazing. Honestly, there are a few clans in the world that I think can outplan queen walkers because obviously planning and execution is part of it but badzinger despite losing in the war currently i think have outplanned bad um queen walkers their attacks have just been so smart absolutely destroying bases here making them look silly and badzinger are still in this war they refuse to go away ggs to lp there and klaus is in here comes the youtube thumbnail get it in right here 
Coming in with a Zap Lalo, and he's currently got a uh, Wall Wrecker. Interesting Zap value. Goes for two Ground Bows, Bomb Tower, and I think it was a Wizard Tower. No, not a Wizard Tower. Whatever the last defense was. Oh no, Tesla Farm anyway. So he's trying to set up a really nice funnel here. Oh, this Sui could be amazing though. This Sui could be crazy. Queen needs to go the right way though. I'm not... Oh, she goes the right way. I was really worried she was going to the Tesla. Golem's tanking, but it's not tanking a lot, to be honest. Look at this Sui, guys. RC's on the top side. This is a crazy Sui. Oh, he's gonna just... Uh, he's just a uh, wall wrecker in the town hall. Nice. And that's the safest way to get the town hall on this base. Perfect. As per usual, Golem's doing no tanking. I could... Look, I understand why some of the time people use it. The only time I would use it is, like, ground bows. Because they're never going to lock off the Golem. Those other defenses are... RC has not popped her ability. Hold up. He's just damaged the back end. Golem and Ice Golem. OP combo. Never said anything bad about it, ever. Is this... Wait, wait, wait. Sassy about to get the scatter? Holy... The queen still got her ability! <laughs> the queen still got her ability! Are you actually kidding me, Klaus? He freezes the multi there. That multi's the last thing. The town hall went down to the wall wrecker. You Klaus, you animal. <laughs> he doesn't need this warden ability. Like, this is just crazy. What that Sui got, he still has his queen... No, he's used his queen ability. He still has the ice golem up. Wardens, just because, more so than anything. That Sui was insane. He made that look effortless. If I did that Sui, I'm failing that. Like, I'm my queen's going the wrong way, or the hound's, like, destroying me. But he makes it look effortless. I mean, if he used one more freeze for his Royal Champion as well, he was taking down the Scatter. Insane. Absolutely insane. But we expect this from Klaus. Honestly, for Klaus, this is a bit of a vanilla hit. Let's be honest, guys. We've seen crazier stuff from Klaus. And that's just a testament to how good he is. GG to him. Queen Walker's still staying perfect in the war. And Badzing is in here again. Every time they've failed and Queen Walkers... Well, sorry, they've failed once. Every time Queen Walkers is coming with the triple, they've responded. Can they do it one last time? Coming in with a Pekka Bat attack. A Pekka Wee Bat, I guess, with the Super Wizards there as well. Gonna Warden Walk this Scatter, I assume? I got the Blimp. You have to think... Ooh, I, I think I like this. I reckon he's gonna jump here. Warden Walk this Scatter and jump here. He's got no wall breakers, so he's not going to try some weird wall break over there. Although, I would have been tempted to, honestly, in saying that. He's got the Sneaky Gobs and the Super Wiz already, so maybe he was just happy to jump anyway. And then blimp the base over, um, and king in for the eagle. We'll see. Warden! Warden, where are you going? No, 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 come back! Come back! He should go for the scatter next, right? Oh, what is this Warden doing? He does not- he will not get that scatter. Oh no. That is horrible. He raged as well. He might have wanted to get the royal champion too. What are you doing, Warden? How did he miss that? It did look like he placed the Warden too high to be honest, but not that high. Now he has got the royal champ that he can use there. Maybe that's the play. Royal champ and a headhunter for the scatter and the RC. Not a bad call. Look at it, these peckers, <laughs> these peckers don't need a jump. They're just gonna go straight through the wall anyway with no rage. Heal is a rage though. RC on the top side. There's the headhunter. Uses a freeze, interesting. Ice Golem to tank for the RC as well. Uh, you're gonna have to freeze that wizard tower. Does, he's got one freeze left. He's got one wizard tower. <laughs> Look how far the pecker smash made it. Still got his queen ability, still got the RC. RC, don't you dare pull the NATO. Don't you pull the NATO, RC. I know you want to. <laughs> this is so wrecked. 
What a nice hit. Oh, Scatter shoots the bats? How did the Scatter shoot the bats? I mean, regardless, it's wrecked. He's still got the RC ability. Bam, what an amazing attack. You don't see this style of attack often. But, like, when it works, and the Warden Walk literally got nothing except Parthing. Gonna be doing it with 40 seconds left, and the pressure's on Utah. Can Utah come in with the triple in the final attack? He's gotta get, like, 99% or higher. We'll see what he comes in with. Utah, absolutely clutch. But let's not talk about the last attack. Let's talk about this sexy attack from Bad Zinger. They're gonna be getting 14 stars and 498% today. And Utah is in here. Now we had a look, I believe, I don't know if there's draws or not in this league. Um, if there are draws, then he needs the 99% to win. If there aren't, 98 will be enough as uh, they do have the time uh, pretty convincingly here at Queen Walkers. Let's see what uh, Utah can come in. Coming with the Queen Charge Lala, his speciality. Got the jump spell on this one. RC gonna come in here. Has he got, he has got one in Viz. I assume he's gonna use it for the Royal Champion here. Perfectly timed. Ooh, the RC goes for the Bomb Tower first, though. Um, yeah, you gotta freeze. Oh, Skelly runs away. Come back. Oh no, the Wizard's OP. Okay. Works out nicely for Utah there. He will be getting the multi now. Saying that. If she gets the Wizard Tower here, what happens? Should the, the Queen should still go right, yeah? Yep. Definitely going right here. Let's see. Got the Valk on this one. I wonder what the Valk's for. The Valk's going to come in with the King here for the Town Hall. So he's hoping the King gets the Town Hall. I'm always scared of just soloing Kings for the Town Hall this day, these days. I think it's better. I think it's more doable on Smash Attacks. Because Smash Attacks got more of the core and you have more tanking. But with Queen Charges, I always feel a bit... Uh, I feel a bit iffy about it. Let's see. Especially with the Eagle activating on the King. Valk, he brought the Valk for the Skellies, and the Valk did not go after the Skellies at all. But look at that, the Yak's so strong with the King. The Yak just took out all the Skellies. Tornado goes. Will the King get the Town Hall? Headhunters are running over. I don't think the King gets the Town Hall. Oh, Utah's got to make a decision here. Oh no, Utah. Oh no. Let's see if he can make this work. Stone Slammer in the Town Hall. Queen dies? Wait! <laughs> Queen dies again! Queen dies... We have seen this base before with almost this exact hit and the exact same thing happened. The Queen died in the same spot to the Eagle. The King did not get the Town Hall. This is officially the best base ever. Let's see, can Utah save the war here? He's gotta get to the 98% or 99. We don't know which. Let's go with 99 to be safe. I don't think he's gonna get to 99. I'm not gonna lie here. That multi's up in the core. It is protecting two buildings. That CC and Builder Hut has to go down for Queen Walkers to win here, but I don't think they're gonna get it. And Bad Zinger are gonna pull off a massive upset here. I I hope you guys put your channel points on them uh, on Bad Zinger. I told you to do it. I told you it'd be upset potential here. And, uh, man, if you aren't sold on Bad Zinger now, then you have to be. Bad Zinger are here to play in this competition. And they've just knocked off one of the biggest, uh, one of the toughest teams in the competition. Queen Walkers here, unlucky for Utah, but gonna be falling 12 or 13% short. And, uh, we'll back out here. And as you can see, Queen Walkers taking the defeat. By 2.4% to Badzinger. Badzinger failed their second. I mean, Badzinger's only fail was when they sued 50% of the base. They were that close to the perfect war against Queen Walkers. And you know their bases are solid. So GG's to Badzinger coming in with the win today. They're going to be 1 and 0. Oh. Let's see what we can they can do in this competition. I'm sure we'll catch more of their streams later on.